Welcome back, everyone, to the Mountain Morning Show. I am joined by our friend Kevin Rail from Silver Mountain Sports Club, trainer extraordinaire who always brings us really fun, innovative, and uh, usually historical training techniques yes. that you may not see everywhere. And of course, he does this at Silver Mountain Gym for personal training. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning. How are you? Now, you well. were here before with the wooden, remind me what those are Indian called? Indian clubs. The Indian clubs. And yes. I've seen those at the gym. They were so much fun. And you brought us something new today. Uh -huh. What are these? OK, these are called maces. And just like the Indian clubs, much like the Indian clubs, okay. these are based off of circular patterns. So like I said last time, for those of you that saw my last segment here, I talk a lot about circular patterns, figure eights, and spirals. So one of the things that has eclipsed us over the years is moving through these ranges of motion because mm -hmm. everything is linear. You know, bicep curls, tricep extensions, leg extensions, all these different things. So we get ingrained into those patterns, and no one really pays attention to the actual movements we do in real life, which is the most important thing, which you should always focus your attention on. Okay. So tools that are classical and historical in nature all are based off of circular patterns, figure eights, and spirals. So the traditional just straight Correct. lateral movements, that's not what we want to be doing anymore. There's nothing wrong with that, but there's a whole different world out there that most people don't even know exists. Okay. But I, st I spend most of my time in that world, and I want to put it into the rest <laughs> of the world as well. Got it. <laughs> so the mace is this awesome training tool um, that's based completely on circular patterns. Okay. And it really helps your shoulder mobility, your wrist, your elbow function. Um, it prevents. Um, Injuries to your shoulder, rotator mm -hmm. cuff. It's good for correction of rotator cuff injury and prevention as well. And I was going to say, so for like rehabilitation purposes as well. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Now these may be ominous looking because they're, you know, it's a ball with a club on the end. But you start out really light. This one is about nine pounds, and I loaded this one up to about twenty-five. So this is my this is my work. That's your work. Mace. You're going to make me do this, this one, aren't you? Yeah. Now tell me where these came from, because this does look like from another time. This is well, designed after a, a rather yeah. historic item. Yes, exactly. So these were. Um, originally used back in war times where like, um, I'm not going to say it's the Spartans, but you know, back in the old days. Something Russell Crowe would use. Yeah, pretty much. Was, if yes. you've seen okay. any of those movies, Trojan and all those things. Sure. They had the ball and chain with, a, with you know, the that spikes, chain with the, the spikes gladiator, on the end and they yeah. would swing it. But they also had a tool called the mace, which was a little smaller. Okay. And it was similar to this, but it wasn't heavy. It was light. So they can just beat the crap out of people and knock them out in seconds. But we don't have spikes, so <laughs> we're, we're, we're going to be okay. The, the stuff. All we have is the usable amount of stuff we need, which is a handle and of what I call the globe on the end. Okay. Um, and this company is called Strong, um, Stronger Grip. This is one of my favorite companies. Okay. Um, it's got a shorter handle. Maces come in like long handles like this, and they come in different shapes and sizes. But really, this is one of my favorite ones because of the shortened handle. It's easier to spin around your back, and you still get the benefits from it, and it's good for beginners as well. Perfect. Yeah. So I would like you to grab a hold of all this right. mace. So let me put your right hand here all the way down by the ball. Now, push your hips back like this into what's called a hip hinge position. Okay. Grab a hold of the handle here. Got a little it. lower, a little bit lower. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to lift it straight up, keep your right hand still, bring your right hand to the bottom and your left hand top. Now, Whoa. bring it over your top of your head, just let it hang like this, keep your elbows bent and in, inward. Now, I want you to keep your core nice and tight, especially your abs, and just swing it back and forth a little like this. Whoa, okay. So you can feel the, your core engaging? Wow, yeah. Okay, so we're just doing a little pendulum swing here. So from here, <laughs> what I want you to do is get a little swing going and then just pull it right back to here, keep your core tight and get it vertical. Whoa, well, that's heavier than you think. I know, it's hard. It's heavier, right? right? Now keep okay. it closer to your body. Okay. Okay, now we're going to go over the right shoulder. Bring it back, and now swing it back and forth a little. I'll just try not to knock myself out. Correct. And go. don't knock out your instructor either, please. Thank <laughs> you. Swing it back and forth a little bit. Okay. And then pull it right back. Now we're going to bring it back down to the floor, and we're going to switch our hands. Put your left hand on the bottom, right hand down. Bring it back up into your vertical position. Go over one shoulder. Swing it around again. Because I just want to, so keep your hands above your. Oh, keep them all the way. Yeah, okay. there you go. Keep your elbows in a little bit, swing it back and forth a little. A little pendulum action. A little pendulum, we're in sync, we're and good. Then pull it back. Okay, this is much harder than it looks. I know, I'm right? going to be honest with you, yes. And you're only doing nine pounds. Now go over the left shoulder, swing it back and forth a little. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> so you want to keep the elbows in? Okay. And then pull it right back, bring it back down. Switch hands again. Oh, good. Bring one. you back up. Now we're gonna you're gonna move to your right a little bit, and we're gonna do a 360. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Are pop we, it Kevin? And we're gonna pull it right to the front like that. All right. There, good. Okay. <laughs> do it again. That's pretty good. All right. And then go the other way. 360. Left is not my strength. <laughs> one more to the left. We need symmetry, equilibrium. Okay, oh. now bring it back down safely, and just stand it up. 
Okay, that was just a basic 360. All right, Kevin, that counts. <laughs> I'm done for the day. No, but that, you feel that, your entire body, your core, your legs, your arms. Totally. Wow. And that circular pattern right there that you do. So eventually you want to get to a point where you just do an endless amount, not an endless amount, but you want to do like a series of circles. And where it looks very graceful as opposed yes. to what I was doing. Okay. Yes, so then you're going to bring a lot of nutrient-rich blood flow to your joints and connective tissue, which is going to promote healing and is going to promote functional ability beyond anything that a linear pattern can bring to you. Okay. So that's the secret sauce behind it. Is the, yeah, beyond the linear pattern. Exactly. And you were telling me too, just before we came on air, the, you know, so many people I know are watching are sitting behind a desk all day yeah. and really stagnant and just simple movements can just not only refresh your body, but your mind too. Show me the thing Absolutely. that you just did. Oh, so one of the best things you can possibly do to refresh your brain is a cross body or cross lateral pattern. Okay. And that's another thing that we don't really focus on in the gym, no one really thinks about it. But a lot of my workouts and my programs, like my six-pack class, for example, I do a lot of cross-body patterns. And sometimes I don't even explain it. I just show the exercise and we do it. And everyone's like, what? And they're all thumbs. But there's a science behind it. And the science is it really elicits a lot of brain function. So a simple cross-body pattern would just be tapping your hand to your knee across your body like this, okay. and then tapping your elbow to your knee, and then tapping your foot, tapping your foot, then go behind your body, behind your body, and lifting your arm. So just doing this in the middle of the afternoon like three times in a row, will snap your brain into It'll not only circulate like the blood, it'll make you smarter at work, too. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. All yeah. right, so if people want to get, if people want to do this themselves, because I'll tell you, that, that was, it was fun, it was cool, but you are working. You yeah, know, totally. How it can really they do these at the too. gym? Are you doing workshops? Um, I just did a workshop this past Saturday at the gym, and it was very well attended. It went Great. over well. And this is only, I didn't really get to bring the maces out. I had them in the front of the class. We okay. spent a lot of time doing eating clubs and wand drills and other cross-body pattern stuff. Okay. But um, I'm going to be doing another workshop in November. November, so we'll keep an eye out for that. And you can come that, and yeah. see that. And then uh, personal training six pack class. What did yeah, I'm going to be starting that in two weeks in October. And this is all so going to be on Silver Mountain Sports Club website. They yes, can see is. your course. Yes. And also, Kevin is going to be not only a little celebrity on Park City Television, but you are featured in a Sundance film submission. Tell yes. us a little bit about that. So um, a good friend of mine, Doug Orchard, is a very phenomenal film producer. He's one of the best I've ever met in my life. He lives in California. He just recently submitted a film to um, Sundance this past Tuesday called The Motivation Factor. And it's going to be a lot about the why of exercise and why we actually need it and how we can do patterns like this, the cross body patterns and the circular spirals and all these different things, and how that elicits brain function and how it can bring down crime rate, how it can improve the health of schools. Like PE right now is usually a joke across America. <laughs> so we go into a little bit nuts and bolts about where, what has happened and how can we fix it and how can we change it and how you can achieve great things by doing 30 seconds of different things mm -hmm. and exercise. And it's basically, it connects the dots between what has happened to us over the years and how we can fix it and how we can change it. A movie like this is like, hasn't been done and it's, the universe is ripe for it right now because it explains a lot of things about bringing the healthcare crisis down, improving the health of the kids, bringing the obesity epidemic down and changing all the patterns that have gotten out of control. So, the film is called The Motivation Factor, and we've got our fingers crossed that Sundance will pick it up. It's going to be mind-blowing. It's already gotten rave reviews from a couple handful of people that have seen it, and not many people have. This is under lock and key right now. Fantastic. But we're hoping it gets in there. I hope it will, too. And yeah. if it's called The Motivation Factor, I think yep. they found the right guy to interview. Oh, well, Kevin Rill, it. thank you so much for being here and thank bringing you. all these fun toys for us to play with. You if you haven't got your workout in yet, Kevin already has. <laughs> I think I did for the day. And you're going to want to head to Silver Mountain Sports Club website and find out how you, too, can train with Kevin. This is the Mountain Morning Show. We'll be right back after this.